All right, so this is Star Trek Fleet Command. You start off as the captain of, uh, what is the ship called? No, not the Fortunate. Uh, the Rialta, I think. Yeah. And you fly around in a system doing various missions and you get experience and all sorts of other things so yeah it's been uh, kind of fun it even though it is one of those games where um, you can see up in the left hand corner I have 213 yellow bars that's latinum for those of you who are Star Trek fans you'll know what latinum is and yeah, it's basically the gems of the game. And yes, you can buy real life mo or use real life money to buy more latinum, and then you can use latinum to get more things. So yes, it is one of those games that I sometimes complain about, where it could potentially be pay to win. But uh, I'm finding most of the stuff isn't like too bad for time stuff. Most of it's like. Uh, an hour some stuff's been three or four I think the only exception is in when you eventually get the refinery you'll be able to mine uh, raw crystals gas or ore um, once you have 3,000 you can refine them into better materials which you can use to upgrade your more powerful ships but once you hit the refine button you have to wait nine hours before you can refine anything else and uh, right now I can only my uh, refine in sets of 3,000 or 15,000 so yeah you get um, like one of the Sims games, you get different buildings that you can build and upgrade, like your operations, your academy. They all do different things. Um, you only start with one shipping dock, so you can only use one ship at a time, but it doesn't take too, too long to get your second shipping, uh, yeah, shipping dock. And then you can use two ships at the same time and then so this ship that I have selected here it's a mining ship and you can go to these little plots of space and the orange is your par steel which your ships are made out of it tells you how much time is left to mine it all um, the green is your tritanium and then there's blue ones that are either dilithium or raw crystal. And then there's like red ones that are for gas and the other ore. And yeah, you can either wait till it's done mining and recall the ship, or at any time you can just recall the ship back home. And whatever you collected, it brings back home and puts into your inventory and then you can get fighter ships and these red guys are uh, your hostiles they're called so you can just go and attack them whenever you get ship experience this way sometimes you get like loot from them so there you go I just got an item a player versus everyone chest ooh I got one survey part, yay, so if I get another survey ship somewhere in the future, I'll be able to upgrade it with that survey part. And then in your inbox, you can actually like kind of watch how awesome you did or how poorly you did or whatever. Um, I think it's once you reach... Uh, your operations building this one at level 10 
then you can actually start attacking. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. You can start attacking other players and other space stations. You can join an alliance where you can contribute to them to make the alliance bigger. Um, you get rewards from them. You can help each other build faster. Um, you can get credits for the Alliance store. Uh, I only have 60 right now, so all I could really do is build like a peace shield, and uh, I'm not too worried about that. You also get recruit cards. Um, right now, technically, I could get three chests worth of common or standard recruits, but I like to save up to the 100 and get five chests at once. And right now, for the next 21 hours, we have the Kirk special going on, so you get a uh, better chance of getting Captain Kirk and some other different cool guys. But you need a bare minimum of 150 of these um, gold cards to open them, and then the Ultra Recruits, I think, yeah, it's like a bare minimum of 800, so it's going to be a while before I have all of that. There is a chat thing where you can watch people chat and chat with them, and then there's the alliance chat where you can chat with just your alliance or chat privately with people. Uh... Actions. I don't touch this one very much. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's why. Because right now, I, uh, I haven't joined a faction yet because I'm guessing that I have to do special missions to do that or something. I don't know. And then, yeah, down here, you get your different missions. Tells you, um kind of what it wants you to to do to accomplish missions and then you have your daily goals like in any of these games and yeah so anyway it's been kind of fun to play this but there it does have its moments where it's like nope you're gonna sit here for the next two hours staring at the screen waiting for something to happen because you don't have any other choice so it does get boring with that and then um, sometimes when you're mining other stuff like uh, there's a few times I've gone out to mine some raw crystal and I might be fine for an hour or so but if it's gonna take me three hours to um, mine the spot you either have to stay looking for that whole three hours or you risk being attacked and I haven't paid enough attention yet to know if you actually keep all the stuff that you've mined when you get attacked and destroyed or not of course if you survive you do get to keep it all and then you can just run back home with it but I haven't really bothered to check yet so I'll have to do that and maybe let you guys know in another video but yeah if you're into Star Trek at all it's uh it's kind of a fun little game, like, I guess a little fun little Star Trek Sims style game. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I can show you guys the, the galaxy map too, so you can fly to different galaxies and, uh, like, the... Belas, Belas, Belas um, system. So you see the blue. That's your raw crystal. So that's about seven thousand. Oh my gosh! But you can also see that it would take me almost four hours to mine out that whole thing. So if I just sit there for the fourteen or for the fourteen hours, the four hours, I risk being attacked by somebody and possibly losing my stuff so but yeah 
So it's kind of cool. And then uh, you can see there's like Romulan space, uh, Federation space, and I think Klingon space is down here somewhere. Yep. I haven't entered any of the uh, other spaces yet, but eventually. I'm sure I will. Probably go into uh, Federation space and join the Federation someday. That's my goal with this game, anyway. Zoom in on the universe, yay. Anyway, um, that's basically the gist of this game. It's your a neutral, independent captain of your starship, and then you get like a star base and that you get to command and everything. So yeah, you're you're in the universe of Star Trek, being a random person in that universe. Kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.